Alright, so we're here to do a movie review for Justice League War World. Yeah, it's coming soon, <laughs> but it most likely is out while I'm actually recording this. I think I'm going to leave some yo-ho-ho -ho in the end because it deserves to be a rant. But for right now, Justice League World War, War World. Does this ever to be owned? I pretty much think it should. I mean, with this new universe that they've created, wow. And they have done something even more crazy. So before going to spoilers, like or don't like, watch or don't watch, I think you should definitely watch it, especially since you, if you watch Man of Tomorrow, uh, Justice League 1942, and Batman The Long Halloween. If you watched all those so far, you should watch this. Yeah, this is the next movie. As for the Green Lantern one that they've done, that they were like, yes, we are Dane, that, uh, freak, what was his name? I, I can see his name. I can see him, but I don't remember. But anyways, yeah, so the second Green Lantern and not Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan got booted for the curb. They were like, oh, we talked about him so many times now. We say, fuck him. He's gone now. We gave you this new guy. <laughs> That's what they did. So, anyways, in this movie, well, again, like it, don't like don't watch it, don't watch Should definitely watch it. I, I think I like it. It's pretty interesting. So, let's get on with what's going on with it. Alright, so... The freaking movie begins with Wonder Woman getting into the Wild Wild West. And apparently she's butting heads with Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex gets screwed over. He's He got screwed over right now. But yeah, so Jonah Hex. And the thing is that the bank, allegedly the bank, actually decided to be like, yeah, the people the bank and all the people who are in a high hierarchy or high aristocrat or whatever. They decided to freaking take the bank. The bank is theirs. And he barred up a freaking wall at the bank because, well, they want to be rich and fuck everyone who actually is in the city. Well, in the small town. The fuck? The small town actually has their own posse who actually will shoot anyone who actually gets out of it. Which, of course, we saw a family who's like, I want a fresh start. And it's like, Okay, how the fuck do you want a fresh start if you get lots of money over there? You guys got money, given they don't get to have supplies delivered to them, because, well, why would they? The posse is pissed off by you. So it gets to the point where it's like, I guess I don't understand. Apparently, Jonah Hex and the posse are the bad guys, and the ones over there are the good guys. Or it's just a messed up gray area where it's like... I don't know who's freaking right and who's freaking wrong. I thought it was Jonah Hex who was in the right, but, well, his men kind of suck. Killed the m mother and the father of this girl. The girl was going to get shot, too, with a shotgun. And then, well, Wonder Woman intervened. And then Wonder Woman intervened even more. And Jonah Hex like, yeah, I just gave you my hand of friendship and you spat in my face. Yeah, it's kind of interesting where it's like, well, if you returned, well, you're going to have to show me what you got and also your words, too. So it's like, so you want to actually have a sparring match with her or are you trying to throw down as in, oh, yeah, throwing that R. Kelly music? It's like, no, it's not really R. Kelly music. Yeah, he's gone now. You can't even use that freaking terminology anymore. It's like, what did the Westerns have? Like, what did the West have when it was, like, good music, good romantic music? <laughs> it's like, I don't think they had one. But anyways, basically, it ended with her ending them because, well, Jonah Hex had a plot to use a train and crash into the bank because the bank is actually able to have freaking train stuff and it's like okay hold on so if they have the freaking damn train that means that technically they do have the supplies so i the fuck were just saying oh but we're out of supplies we have lacks of supplies it's like what it doesn't sound like to me that they they robbed the damn train maybe they do not sure but it's like something's not right here which one of you is the freaking wrong one 
The ones who boarded up the damn freaking bank and said all monies are mines. Or the ones who actually are shooting people say, hey, if you're over there, we don't like you. Why the hell do you have the freaking bank and keep it all the money for your damn selves? And it's like, I'm pretty sure the bank people are freaking. It's like, yeah, I understand there's a gray line there. And sadly, Wonder Woman joined the bank people versus the ones who actually need the damn money. The town needs freaking damn ass money. Anyways, she was able to get free and she goes to, I guess there's a new one. Yes, now we get to see Batman. It's like, yeah, this Batman. And Batman go against the guy whose name Warlord, even though it's like, is this Aquaman? It's like, nah, nah. It's like, could this be Griero? It's like, nah, nah, he doesn't use freaking things. It's like, I think it might be Aquaman. But no, it's just Warlord. That's it. Warlord. <laughs> so he basically goes a mercenary and he just had to kill Warlord and bring his head back to the sorcerer, Deadmon. And it's like, okay, but he didn't do it. He got freaking prison. Now he's a slave of theirs. And it's like, okay, he's going to be their guide to go to Deadmon's freaking castle or whatever. And it looks like there's technology, and then, of course, many people got killed from, oh my gosh, the ravenous rhinos, or oh my gosh, this freak show um, T-Rex, and then the freak show Pteranodon, and it's like, yeah, it's like, almost everybody's gone now, all there is left is, like, at least three people, or four people, until he got vaporized, because, lo and behold, the sorcerer has magic, but it turns out, no, he, he just got technology somehow, he somehow has technology skills, but he does have a freaking damn minotaur, or whatever, and of course, Batman decides to stab him in the back, but like, okay, well, see you later, dude, finally gave me the key for freedom, and I'm, I'm done here, and then we heard Warlord's give out a real horrific yell it's like oh damn he's dead and of course the girl who actually killed the pteranodon is still alive and anyone gets this new girl and it's like new girl's freaking damn um wonder woman and well it looks like the freaking sorcerer is like no fuck you i'm gonna just screw you over and then warlord turns out to be alive yeah so deadmon has this magical freaking wand and lo and behold it's just a pistol with freaking six bullets that's it. Pistol with six bullets. I think it might be even 12 bullets, but the dude somehow doesn't know how to reload the damn gun. Yeah, I didn't. It's revealed that, oh no, he is a sorcerer. Yes, and he turned into King Cobra. And he tried to do something, then all of a sudden, Wonder Woman got free. Wonder Woman actually stabbed him in the head. And as soon as he stabbed him in the head, he went from King Cobra, big back King Cobra into his own self and no he's not stabbing the forehead no she stabbed him in the eye so we got some freaking animorph crap going on here and he's like oh you can't defeat me I will return and take you all down and then well Batman realizes that a hey, what's going on here and Wonder Woman is the same deal, so they both go together they try to get War um, Lord to come by he's like nah I have to defend this world from Deadmond. So, go on your way. It did. They go to this, the last one, which is a freaking alien crash. And then we got a diner. It looks like the Langs are there. It's like, oh, great. It's like, yeah, and it looked like 50s. You know, like the 50s, 30s, 40s, 50s look. We have this one freaking dude is a drifter. We got this, um, let's say, bus person. Yeah, bus driver. And, of course, we got an officer. And, of course, Kent is also an agent. We have Diana there, Wonder Woman, and she's a secretary. And we have Batman Bruce Wayne as the, the not detective, as the officer. So... Crazy enough, everyone's gone freaking nuts because it's like, my gosh, it sounds like propaganda for freaking damn America right now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if you're not American and stuff like that, just shoot them, kill them, kill them, they'll get inside your head, they'll affect your mind. And it's like, 
you know, Americans right now are getting infected in the mind by other Americans. So it gets very messed to freak up of how political this kind of is. But anyways, apparently Clark actually hears some kind of music and then he has to go in there. Then after that, it's like lots of people are crazy. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> Superman accidentally pushed someone into the freaking jukebox. And then it's revealed that, oh, <clears throat> The black bus driver is one of the aliens. But then everyone gets turned and change, except for, of course, the other FBI agent. They all change into freaking aliens. Like, what the fuck? And then there were some best fights. And then after that, they have to drive away. To drive away, more aliens freaking land. What the fuck? It's like, gets very, very crazy to the point where it all crashed. And now they are in the command center of World War World. And then they see that um, Martian Manhunter is there too. Now, here's one thing I have to now say since we we got the whole roster. Martian Manhunter and Superman came in Man of Tomorrow. Batman came from Batman um, Long Halloween. That's all in continuity. Now, the crazy part is where Wonder Woman came from. Apparently, they took her from um, Earth 2 and brought her here. We're just like, what the fuck? So, basically, apparently, World World actually goes into many universes. It's a multiverse travel device. Well, war machine, of course, eradicating so much stuff. So eventually they get to the point where they free uh, Martian Manhunter. And then after that, guess who shows up? Lobo. That's right. Lobo shows up again. So if you haven't seen Man of Tomorrow, Lobo is in that as well. Lobo shot all three of them and then beat freaking Martian Manhunter. Actually, he's already beaten up. He takes him to Mongrel or Mongol. So he takes a Mongol. Mongol actually is like, you know what the fuck, man? I'm looking for this damn key. You don't have it. Looking all over the place and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the in quotations Justice League got to work. <laughs> Taking down so many people to the point where they're now actually in Mongol's area. Meanwhile, Martian Manhunter was about to get killed. And, well, Lobo's like, well, I'm going to hook you from your shackles. You get to have one punch, make it count. And since Mongol got so distracted, he was able to control a white lantern. I mean, a white Martian, because, well, War World is actually controlled by lots of white Martians. So it turns out the key is when they fuse together, DNA fusion or fusion ha, whatever you want to call it, with a green lantern and a white lantern. But since the White Lanterns all got killed and he exterminated every single Green Lantern every single time he goes to another universe, that is why he has freaking issues of where the hell the key's at. So he's going to use the key to self-destruct. Meanwhile, you have Lobo who was like, nah, I'm going to just watch you guys freaking fight each other. Hopefully Mongol is going to die and I get to inherit War world because this is an awesome freaking shindig you know what i mean it's like oh what? <laughs> he's planned all this and then it gets to the funny part where it's like listen martian man listen you martian i was the one that gave you that back door to connect to everyone he's like well who gave you yes who gave you the thought of doing that and it's like I would have liked it they continue a little bit for like a little bit longer be like oh but still I gave you the idea to give it to me to do the back door. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like Lobo just continues on trying to actually top what Martian Manhunter just did. So Martian Manhunter actually destroys things. Then all of a sudden we got some new person that I don't know whatsoever who she is. She most likely obscure freaking D DC character. Looks like as if she's a herald of freaking Galactus of the DC universe. She comes and says, hey, you three are needed and takes them to a new place and said, hey, a darkness is coming and we will need your help. It's like, OK, but still, though, I was kind of hoping that this Wonder Woman will be the Wonder Woman 
of this earth, but instead she's been sh shift and taken from another earth. Not to mention she doesn't really sound, she sounds like herself, but not truly. Because the other one actually had like some, I don't know, maybe because of the friendship and the bond that she got for the others, she's different, but it sounds, she's, she's supposed to be like more bold than this. It's like, yeah, and Justice League 1980, 1942, she seems more bold, and will note everyone in the ship, all the white land, all the white Martians. I forgot what was going on with them. Innocent bystanders, I guess. Oh yeah, the ship actually is fueled by anger and fear, rage and fear. Which I'm like, so basically, you need the red lantern and the yellow lantern. Is that what you really need? You just need to take the Red Lantern and Yellow Lantern power sources and hook it up to the freaking War World and you'll be good? Apparently, that's all you need. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so... I guess yay for Wonder Woman being a part of this universe, even though it's like, oh, that's kind of a cheap, you know? And it sucks that the Flash didn't get to be a part of this either. It's like, oh, come on. The Flash deserves to be married and have a good time with his marriage. It's like, oh, so he can get it, but when it comes to Spider Man, fuck that. <laughs> like, seriously, fuck that. It's like, damn, man. It's like, yeah, do we really get to talk about that? Where it's like the TV show and this new franchise. Let me try to remember what happened in the previous franchise. I don't think we even looked at. Yeah, but not to mention Young Justice, too. So we got three, three of them where it's like Flash gets to be married and have a freaking damn wife and might even have a kid. No, not yet. He doesn't have a kid yet. Except for the TV version where it's like, yeah, it ended with him having a child. And all of Spider-Man doesn't get married. One time he did get married, but it turns out she was a clone. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, and I have to look for him. Spider-Man Unlimited, he's married, but we only got to see that in one episode for at least five to ten minutes. Well, not even five to ten minutes, sorry. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Some bullshit right there. So, they most likely are getting ready for um, Dark Side, I guess. Because always when it comes straight down to it, Dark Side is their big bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, unlike freaking um, Marvel, Marvel has a few good big bads. But it looks like they're trying to really get... Uh, Kane the Conqueror here, which he deserves it. Thanos got it. Maybe Galactus is going to get something in this too. Maybe the Beyonder will get something someday. High Evolutionary got canned, so oh well. But he was good. It's like, yeah, that I have to admit, that was good. Good twist and everything. But that's everything. I don't know if there's actually a ends credit because... Time for the yo o o part. So, of course, I actually watched it thanks to a source. The only messed up part is that when it comes to the source, there's many other sources of how he got it. The only messed up part is that there is one source that I dread and hate every single time when it comes to any movie, which is none other than Slot Kings. It's like, okay, so let me get this straight. Slot Kings ha have the power to get movies and shit. But for some reason, you you seem like you have enough money for shit, but yet you have to still put freaking ads and bullshit in the freaking at movies. Yes, they put freaking damn, like, insert ads, and then, of course, Crick Art. Slide. You know, with this freaking dude right here is a British black man, and it's like, they don't even they don't even know what happened to the audio track because they used to have an audio track for it and either a they're like oh this this sounds horrible as fuck or b oh no it got damaged what are we gonna do i guess we have no choice but to just have it with no audio <laughs> we can't have the voice in there anymore no audio it's like then just remove it <laughs> 
It's like, can't you actually enjoy that you're doing something good versus you're doing something good and now you're tainting it because, well, you're trying to get people to go to your freaking site to gamble and bullshit. And it's like, it seems to me that it's out of the country for me. Whereas I guess cricket and soccer and slots and it's like slots is like but anyways it's like lots of stuff where it's like this is another country can can you just get the fuck out of here and it's like it's worse where it's like this one is straight to DVD so not only they actually got the freaking balls to freaking get the DVD riff which is like they already have the balls to actually send people and the sad thing is that they suck at it too it's like how the fuck do you actually have the money but yet you haven't truly gotten to enough to bribe people to give you the digital copy of it said they still have to do the whole thing of we snuck a cami to the freaking movie and we're able to film the movie but there's many people and plus we have some stupid dumbass idiots we hired at scratch their arms and cough and bullshit and well oops it's like why don't you go when no one's in it you know it's like yeah go to it's like i don't know what the frig is going on here i'm just saying that if they're freaking damn rich which i'm pretty sure they freaking are then why the world do you need to freaking show in the first place just put freaking slidekings.com stamp on there and that's good to go it's like, yeah, give back, you bastards, because you're freaking causing a lot of more people to lose their damn money and have gambling problems. But here you guys are being bastards. It's like, just what the fuck? So, yeah, I hate them with a freaking passion. I'm like, I wish we could just screw them over and cancel them out in the end. It's like, I don't care the whole thing of where it's like, oh, no, but now the, the, the flow of the freaking movies and stuff, it's gone. It's like. There's other ways to do it. All I can tell you is that Sly King suck ass. And I hate every single time when I freaking turn on the freaking movie. They're there and they're doing so many damn languages to make sure that we're getting so many people involved with Sly Kings. Frick you.